In this video, I'm gonna show you how I got Claude Desktop to actually call restaurants for me in order to book reservations. You'll learn how to connect Claude to any of the apps that you use on a day-to-day -day basis. This means that you could actually speak with the Claude interface and ask it to do things like make a phone call, book meetings, send emails, etc. All right, let's dive right into a demo and I'm gonna explain exactly how you can do this yourself. I'm gonna simply ask Claude to call restaurants for me and book reservations. It's gonna be using Synthflow, which is an AI calling platform to interact with the restaurant to book this reservation based on my Google Calendar availability, which it has access to. And after it confirms, it will then add this as an event to my Google Calendar and even send an email with the reservation details all by messaging with Claude right here directly. All right, so here are the instructions that I'm giving it. I'm basically saying book a reservation at this phone number, which I provided a phone number, which this is actually mine because I want to show you what this phone call is actually going to sound like instead of calling like a real restaurant. However, any phone number right here will be applied. So if I said call a certain number, it will actually call it. Next up, I basically added some information that I uh, needed to hand over to the AI assistant for this booking. So I want this to be for, let's actually make this for four people, anytime between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. on April 11th. Basically, it's gonna pull to see if that's available in my Google Calendar. And then once that is actually confirmed with the restaurant and the call has been completed, it's gonna add this to my Google Calendar as an event, along with sending me an email confirmation at my email address. So all I need to do, I'm gonna click send, and now it's gonna begin actually performing these actions and make this phone call. So what it's doing now is it's asking to have access to these tools that I created via this MCP that I'm going to show you exactly how to do in this video. So right now it's pulling information from my Google Calendar to see if these time slots are available. Next up, what it's doing is it's actually triggering this phone call and I should be receiving a phone call any second from the phone number that I actually told it to call. And this is going to be an AI assistant that I configured and I'm going to show you how you could do that in this video. I was wanting to book a reservation with you guys. Is that possible? Yeah, sure. When would you like to book this reservation and at what time so I could confirm? Great. I'm looking to book a reservation for Friday, April 11th at 7 p.m. It's for a party of four. Can you check if that's available? Uh, yeah, actually, it looks like we have that available. Would you like me to confirm that with you? Yes, please. That would be perfect. Can you confirm the reservation for four people on Friday, April 11th at 7 p.m.? Thank you. Y yep, you're all set. We'll see you then. Awesome. Thank you so much. Looking forward to it. Have a great day and goodbye. Yeah, have a good day. See ya. All right, there we go. So it actually triggered that phone call. That was an AI phone call. And what it's going to do now is it's going to basically add this as an event to my Google Calendar. And now it's actually going to send me an email with this information. And here we go. You could see um, I'm writing to confirm you about your dinner reservation. Here are the details. It shows the restaurant. It shows the time, the amount of people. And it shows that this has actually been added to my calendar. Let me check my Google Calendar now. And here we go. You could see right here, dinner reservation at Ariana, four people, 7 to 9 p.m. So this there we have it. Claude actually triggered all of this for me on my behalf. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. All right. So first things first, I'm going to be using Synthflow in order to initiate our AI phone call. So what you just saw in the previous clip of me actually using this is an AI phone caller that I actually created using Synthflow. So if you want to use Synthflow, there's a link to sign up in the description. However, I'm just going to log into my account. And when I log in here, you're going to see this user interface where we could actually configure and create our own AI assistant that can make phone calls for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and build this from scratch. We could choose whether we want this to be an inbound caller, an outbound caller, or a widget. However, for the sake of this, since I'm going to be using this to actually make calls for me and make reservations on my behalf, that obviously needs to be an outbound phone caller. So let's just click on the outbound. And obviously the first thing we need to do is configure this. We're going to give our assistant a name. So I'm just going to call this Brock's calling assistant. I'm just going to basically configure this, use the recommended model, which is a GPT 4.0 model. We could actually add a knowledge base to this. So if you've seen my previous videos on Synthflow, we could give as much information about our business or a background on ourself or whatever use case we're going to be using. For now, we're going to skip this part. We don't need to configure this knowledge base. Next up, big part here, we want to configure the voice. So we can choose what voice we would like to use. For example, let me just listen to a couple of these. Hey there. Let's go ahead and edit this. I actually created a couple clones of myself, which we could use if we wanted to. Let's take a listen. Hey there. I'm, for the sake of this, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use one of the ones that are inside of here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over to prompt and I need to change the greeting message here. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to hear 
Like I want to be able to hear an actual full sentence before choosing which voice I want to use. So let's just say, so basically our AI caller is going to greet the person by saying, hi, I'm calling to see if there are any reservations available. Are you the right person to speak with? So what I'm going to do, I need to make sure to save our prompt. And then I'm going to come back to our configure here and just go to the voices. Let's take a listen to these. Hi, I'm calling to see if there are any reservations available. Are you the right person to speak with? So first of all, that's actually a great voice, except I could actually go through and listen to a couple more. Let's listen to the cloned voice again. So this is me. I am calling to see if there are any reservations available. Are you the right person to speak with? That just sounds so weird to me, the fact that it's my voice clone. So I'm gonna go ahead and move forward with Jessica. This is great. We could configure this however we want. Patience level, we could make it low, medium, or high. That's basically how long it takes for the AI caller to actually respond. We're gonna make that low so it sounds as human as possible. I'm not gonna touch any of this. We're next gonna move down to the prompt. So we already configured our greeting message. We can make this whatever we want for whatever use case we are going to be using. However, we need to come to the prompt and edit this. So I need to change all of this because this is a like predetermined prompt from a templated AI calling assistant that has no context of what we're gonna be doing. So for what I'm gonna be building, we could use a pretty simple prompt. So right here, it basically says, you are an AI assistant calling restaurants on behalf of Brock to book reservations. Your task is to request a reservation for the party size, date and time specified by Brock. Confirm the reservation is successfully booked before ending the call. And then if the requested time is unavailable, please or politely ask the closest available time and confirm with Brock if needed. Be polite, clear, and efficient. Your goal is to ensure the restaurant reservation is confirmed. We need to add this last sentence here. So this should be good to go. Again, you could get as specific with this as you want. I'm going to click on save prompt. Next up, we need to actually go ahead and give our assistant a phone number. So I'm going to come to deployment. I'm going to click on change here to add a phone number. And I'm basically going to select a phone number here. If you don't have one, you could actually go ahead and come over here and buy a phone number. It's super cheap, like maybe a dollar a month or something. So now that that's configured, I can now I'll go ahead and test this out. I should be able to receive a phone call on my phone via this AI caller. So I'm going to click on test assistant. I'm going to input a phone number and then let's click on call and I should be receiving something shortly. I'm calling to see if there are any reservations available. Are you the right person to speak with? Uh, yeah. When are you looking to make a reservation? Great. I'm looking to book a reservation for Brock on Friday, April 11th at 7 p.m. It's for a party of four. Is that time available? Yeah, that sounds great. I'll make sure to book you in. You are confirmed and we will see you then. Awesome. Thank you so much. Looking forward to it. Have a great day. All right, there we go. So we actually got the phone call. This is all working properly. And again, we could set this up however we want. We could get very custom with this for whatever specific use case we want for our phone caller. However, now we're gonna go to Zapier MCP. So what Zapier MCP is, it essentially allows you to connect this with Claude. So think of Zapier. It's an automation platform. You could build out any automation that you want. It's connected with 8,000 different apps. This essentially allows us to make it so we can trigger a phone call directly inside of Claude. So it has access to the different tools inside of this MCP server. I'm going to show you exactly how to configure this. First of all, what we're going to do, we're going to come to edit MCP actions. And there's a couple of different actions that we need to add in order to recreate the demo that I did in the beginning of this video. We initially need to enable SynthFlow in order to create the phone call. We need to enable SynthFlow to get the phone call, which you can see right here. We need to enable Gmail in order to send an email with this information to ourselves to confirm this, as well as we need a couple of Google Calendar events such as find event, or I mean, we need to do Google Calendar find multiple events in order to see if we have calendar availability. And then we also need to create detailed events here. So it's as simple as coming down here, clicking add a new action. I'm going to type in SynthFlow or whatever app we're looking to add. And I'm going to click create call. Basically, I'm going to have to just go and connect my account. It's really easy to do. You just basically come here, you're prompted, you just connect this, connect your API key that you find in SynthFlow, find your API key, you'd come to deployment. And then right here, just copy that. And then you're going to paste that over into that window we just saw. Once we enable this, we just click enable. All right. So before we move forward, we're going to need to do one thing. We need to map our model ID. So this will essentially trigger the specific assistant that we just created. So what I will do, I'll come back here, click on assistant ID, and I would click on set a specific value for this field and add my model ID. It'll essentially trigger this specific AI calling assistant. So that way it doesn't get confused. However, all of this is good to go. We can now click on enable action. And so now when we connect this MCP server to 
to Claude, it will have the ability to actually make that phone call. So we need to do that for all of our actions here, sending an email, finding multiple events from Google Calendar, anything you want, you could actually connect to 30,000 different automations directly inside of Zapier and connect Claude to it. All right, so the next thing we need to do is I'm gonna look up Zapier MCP. I'm gonna click on get started here and we need to actually copy this endpoint URL. So if you're right here, we're gonna come to MCP on the left-hand side. We're gonna copy this URL. So this is almost like an API key. We just need to copy this into Claude and it will then have access to all the actions that we enabled inside of our MCP server. Next up, I'm gonna to need to use the Claude desktop app. So if you don't have that already, make sure to download it. I'm going to come over to the settings. So I don't know if you can actually see this on my screen, but if you come to the top on Mac, you're gonna click on the Claude um, app and then go to settings. And then you're gonna come down to developer. Looks like I already have a pre-existing one here. Let me just delete this and show you how to set this up. So I'm gonna click on edit config. I'm gonna open up this little file here. Also, do not worry if you don't know how to code, don't pay attention to this. You just literally need to like copy and paste what I just copied. All right, sorry, actually, we're not gonna copy this. I forgot we need to actually come to Claude here and we need to copy a different code snippet. So I'm gonna copy this code right here. Again, don't let this scare you. I'm just gonna come back over to Claude. I'm gonna click on edit config. I'm going to open this. Basically gonna paste this exactly in. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to just exit this and save this. And I need to actually exit Claude and then I'm gonna reload it. And then once I reload Claude desktop, we should now have access to these tools. All right, so once we open up our Claude desktop app after shutting it down, we should now see a little hammer here along with a number. So right now we have 26 MCP tools enabled, which are from the Zapier MCP that we just actually connected. So if I come here, you can see all of these different tools that I have access to that we give access to in our MCP server, um, including the send email tool, find event tool in the Google calendar, create detailed event, as well as there is the send flow create call right there as well. So now we can actually come here and tell it to send an email or initiate a call. So let's first of all, test off the email functionality. Let's just say send a joke to to this email address. And essentially it's gonna ask us to enable this tool. And here we go. I'm not sure if you can see that. I just received an email on my phone from Claude directly. All right, let's try to trigger a phone call just like we did at the beginning of this video. Book a reservation based on the availability of my calendar and then send an email with this updated information once this is actually confirmed. Looks like it's now triggering the SynthFlow create call action here. So I should be receiving a phone call any second. Calling to see if there are any reservations available. Are you the right person to speak with? Yeah, when would you like to book your reservation for and for how many people? Great. I'm looking to book a reservation for Brock. It's for four people on Friday, April 11th at 7 p.m. Is that time available? Yeah, that sounds great. Awesome. So just to confirm, I've got a reservation for four people on Friday, April 11th at 7 p.m. Is there anything else you need from me? Nope, that's everything. We will see you then. Thanks for your help. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya. Okay, there we go. So now what this is gonna do is gonna create this act. It's gonna create this event in my Google Calendar and it's gonna send an email with all this information to my email. So we created an entire AI assistant inside of Claude that could actually perform actions for us, like even sending phone calls and making phone calls for us. That's absolutely insane. The fact that we're able to do this, this is a power of the Zapier MCP in action. So it makes it easy for anybody, even if you don't know how to code, how to build these MCP servers with literally thousands of actions across all your different apps for your agents to perform just like Claude. All right, guys, there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, Video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I cover all things AI for non-techies. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next video.